Hello, I'm Jeff Hunt, and today I'm going to be looking at uh, an inspection of a modern truss roof. Uh, this is a case study, so I'm going to just quickly go over some of the observations that I make uh, when I'm up in a truss roof. There are lots of things obviously to take into account for a truss roof, but uh, here are my go-to uh, observations. So here you can see we have the standard trusses. And what I'm looking for here is any sign of any made up pieces that may have been uh, entered into the roof. Uh, this is a valley section here, and that all looks to be uh, detailed as spec. So that's a good sign. Uh, we can see some of the markings uh, that were made on the roof to put it together. Interestingly as well, some uh, mud marks on there. So maybe this roof was put on in the rain. Uh, it was put on some time ago, so that's not too problematic. Uh, the insulation, various different thicknesses. One of the things to look at in here is who has else has been up here moving things around. So an interesting thing to note here is some um, rat poison. So obviously there may have been a problem in the past and uh, some spotlights that come up from bathrooms. Now this can be problematic because it can cause condensation on the underside if there's too much moisture that comes up into this roof. Uh, this is set up as a cold roof and uh, <clears throat> so I'm looking at the uh, underfelt now. Fairly taut plastic underfelt, typical of um, late 1980s uh, into 2000s and this house was built in 2000. So that's quite old tech really for this kind of thing. Um, if we turn the torch off, we can see some daylight through, which gives us some idea that there's relatively good ventilation. I will just drop my um, moisture meter uh, onto these rafters just to double check. And you can see there light coming in through the thing. So if you do uh, just turn your torch off momentarily just to see if there's any light coming in. And as we look around this way as well, we've got the uh, struts and the um, uh, laths that have been nailed in, two nails, that's fine. Coming through this way, uh, yes, there are some uh, footprints in the uh, insulation. So people have been up here for some reason, uh, just some odd cables and a power cable up here. So I will be checking that through. There's also some cables uh, thrown over there. So that may mean that um, some people have done some alterations in the house. So I certainly will be looking at that. I will be lifting the insulation. I'm not doing that now because I've taken my mask and off at the moment. So I don't want to disturb anything uh, just for the purposes of the video. But all in all, this roof does look uh, fairly sound. Uh, this is a, a roof that's hipped at both ends. Take a quick look at the apexes as well. Make sure the gang nail plates are fine and that none of the rafters are twisted.